sp- speaking about covers, man, I loved your cover of Blaze Foley's "If I Could Only Fly." That that's an artist that not a lot of people know about, and I wish that they did. But what what got you listening to Blaze Foley, man? Because like I said, not a lot of people know about that guy. I think it was. I think I got introduced to Blaze Foley when. Uh, probably hearing I think Merle and Willie do that song it was probably the first time I heard and that was they had an old version of it and I know Merle I had him put an album out in his later years kind of I think called If I Could Only Fly and he did it again and then that's around that time is when I really kind of got introduced to him and I'm I thought the same thing I was like why why am I just now hearing about this guy? <laughs> like he, he's one of my favorite artists now of all time. And I just, it, it's, it's still uh, kind of like amazes me that he's not more well known than yeah. like outside of, I'm a lot of like the songwriters and people that I know definitely know who he is, but just on a, I mean, he has so many good songs and, but yeah, getting into him, uh, he's one of those guys that, there's a Blaze Foley era where if I was, if you were hanging out with me or something, you were definitely hearing Blaze Foley. Like that's all I listened to for a while. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. And then I don't know. Then I read that book that was written by his, by his like, wife or ex-wife or whatever. And then that even more he, to this day, he's one of my go-to guys to listen to just his songwriting in general, real similar to John Prine type stuff. Like I just like that kind of, straightforward not taking your lyrics too seriously but saying what you want to say and just kind of taking a different approach to it yeah it's it's, it's crazy how he only recorded so little and yet he had such a big impact on the music industry and if what happened to him didn't happen i can just only imagine what the world would be like yeah like i I often wonder how that would have worked out i just don't see it like yeah if that if his passing and his death and all that like how that worked out i just i don't know it's crazy thing about that kind of stuff because i just can't see how he wouldn't be like uh, have put out some good stuff and yeah it's it, it is crazy because yeah a lot of his records have the same songs and stuff on them they're just different versions and stuff like that but yeah it's uh yeah, he's a, he was amazing. Did, uh, have you ever checked out that uh, thing that Mike Judge did? It's called Tales from the Tour Bus. I think it was on HBO yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it was on Cinemax. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I did. I actually was just turning my uh, my dad onto that not too long ago. To in the all that stuff, and that's the episode I think we watched. Uh, it's so that. well done. Yeah, that's that uh, that show, especially that season, the country season. I. I I thought that was a genius idea, and it's so, it's so good. Yeah, I love that stuff. But his, um, I thought it was cool that he did one too on Blaze, just to, because I know that probably opened some, got some more people into him that probably wouldn't have heard him otherwise. Yeah, I, I mean, really, such a uh, great songwriter to do as little as he did. I mean, he, he can make a fun song like Big Cheeseburgers and Good French oh, yeah. Fries and then do If I Could Only Fly and just rip your heart out. Yeah, yeah, he had the, it's the, he had the uh, ability definitely to, yeah, to do the rip your heart out thing. And that's the, yeah, it's listening, listening to his records, just, it's kind of an experience because just like you said, you'll hear a song where, like uh, Moonlight Song or uh, If I Could Only Fly and then something about uh, the you know then then the big or then the cheeseburger big friend whatever that that one and I don't know you're on like a big low from here and like the sad song and then you're like wait now what am I hearing and he's talking about <laughs> God's Cadillac and this and stuff like that I don't know it's such an interesting character and that whole little Texas scene at that time I think is a is a pretty important time to music in general like with guy clark and and uh towns and all mm-hmm. those guys so yeah i also yeah. loved uh john prine's cover of clay pigeons uh, the reason that i love his cover and your cover so much of the blaze foley songs are that y- you both kept it so original so much like blaze i love merle's version if i could only fly 
But, you know, he, he kind of made that song his own. Whenever I'm listening yeah. to you and John do your covers, I mean, it's just like Blaze. And I just, I appreciated that, man. Yeah, I mean, there's some some covers that I'll, that I'll do that I kind of will try to do my own little thing on, but there's some songs that if, some songs I just don't think you should even cover and play out too much just because they're perfect how they are. And yeah. I kind of felt that way with If I Could Only Fly, but it just had its own meaning to me and and it means a lot to song. It means a lot to me. And, um, it, and it was just, I just wanted to do it how it was. And it's, I don't know if some, if it's not broke, you know, no need to try and fix it. <laughs> is, you know what they say, but yeah, and John did the same with clay pigeons that that version is, is amazing, but it's just like the blaze one, but it's, uh, yeah, some things you just kind of want to, there's no need to change it up. They're pretty perfect how they, how they are. 